Hey, have you ever wanted to turn your phone into a webcam? You've come to the right place. Hi everyone and welcome to pal to tech So today, I'm going to show you how you can turn your smartphone into a webcam and the best way to go about doing it. The total cost of doing this will be about $8. That's a lot cheaper than buying a webcam if you don't have one already. And on some of your phones out there, frankly, the picture quality is going to be a lot better. Okay, here's what you need to do. First, go to the App Store on your phone and search for Epoch Cam. This app is available for both iPhone and Android devices. Now, there's a free version with a green icon, and then there's one that's $7.99 that has a red icon. The main difference between these two apps is that the paid $7.99 version allows you to broadcast with 1080p high definition. That is the one you want to get. It will be a well-spent $8. Go ahead and purchase and then download the app, but don't open it yet. Next, go to your computer, you know, the one that you're going to be using the webcam with, and visit the following website, www.canoni.com. When you get to their homepage, scroll down until you see step two, where it talks about installing drivers. You need to do this whether you have a Mac or a PC. Once they're downloaded, go ahead and open them. And this is what it looks like on a Mac. Now you may need to put in your computer's password to get them installed. The process for Windows machines should be very similar. And finally, now that you have them installed, connect your phone to your computer. While the app will work with a Wi-Fi connection, it is better to just use a cord and connect your phone straight into your computer. Now, open up the app. First, you want to go into settings and make sure that it's set to 1920 by 1080. You can leave all the other settings to the default for now. The app also offers some other features such as the ability to switch the camera to a front facing camera, but you'll get better quality if you just use the regular rear camera and turn the phone around when you're shooting. You can also turn on and off the light as well as horizontally flip the image. Now that you've connected it to your computer and you have the app open and on, you are now ready to start using it on Skype, Zoom, or whatever meeting software that you have. I'm now going to show you three different cameras that act as webcams. The first is going to be a regular webcam, the second one is going to be a Fujifilm mirrorless X-T3 camera, and the third is going to be my iPhone 11, so that you can see all three and kind of judge yourself how they look, okay? First on the list is the webcam. This does not look that good at all, <laughs> okay? But this is a webcam. Now let's flip to the Fujifilm X-T3 camera that I showed you how to use in the other video. Okay, this is the Fujifilm X-T3. Looks much better, doesn't it? Now let's look at the smartphone and see what that looks like. And here we are with the iPhone 11 showing what it looks like as a webcam. What I'm going to do now is put all three of these together so that you can see them side by side. Not bad. This is my iPhone right here acting as a webcam. This looks really good. And it, you know, was eight bucks. Well, there you have it. I think you can make this work with a smartphone very easily. Not hard to do. There are other apps out there, not just the one that I showed you, and they are some of them free. However, the app and the steps that I showed you in this video will get you up and running as fast as possible with a minimum of hassle. I have tested it out. It works great. And as you can see, the picture looks great. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it the like and subscribe. Have a great weekend, and I will see you in another video next week. Take care.